and there will be signs in heaven and on earth. What kind of signs are we going to get on earth? I think we're starting to see them um, with the uh, power vacuum or power grab in the world right now. The great reset, I guess that's the, the word that they're, they're using right now. The plague, I'm not even going to say the name of the thing anymore has reshaped everything. It's what they call the Great Reset. I'm sure everybody's heard of that. What's the next big thing that's going to come after that? Because eventually this is going to, this story, this cycle of, this news cycle of the plague is going to die eventually. People are going to get tired of it. They're not going to care anymore. And it'll be, the media will be hard pressed to continue pushing. But they'll need something to to continue to push towards this great reset and I believe that's going to be climate change I mean we already see that uh, as a strong um, I don't know what you want to call it a strong <sighs> ideology in the world right now it's it's a strong ideology and it's not all entirely wrong I mean this is the uh, this is how the devil works right master of lies father of lies there's a little bit of truth in every in every lie it just makes it a lot more believable climate change is upon us and it, it is in a couple of different ways one is, is that if you live in a country where there's no carbon tax be prepared you're gonna have a carbon tax as soon as the news cycle and, and everything's done with the plague, you're going to get a carbon tax. We've already got one here in Canada and it keeps getting amended and changed and upped all the time. And of course that affects everything from the price of your food to the price of your fuel to everything that you touch. Everything that you need to buy is, is now touched by the carbon tax here in Canada. So look out in the United States, you're going to have a carbon tax. Why do I say that? Well, here in Canada in 2021, in the summer, we had an unseasonable uh, heat, really bad. And um, there was massive forest fires all across this country. And the media said that this was due to climate change. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but um, I think that the fire that uh, we go through fire cycles all the time, and we just happen to be in a really bad one. But yeah, it was partially due to climate change because of the unseasonable heat that we had, you know, combined with pine beetle. Um, devastation we've had over the last few years combined with the amount of mature forests that we've got is bound to happen sooner or later anyways and it does every that cycles through every so many years we get these bad forest fires um, this year climate change was the, was the, the cause of all these forest fires and this winter I think we're gonna see really bad cold probably like we've we've never seen or have recorded in this country before uh, there's a lot of scientific evidence pointing to this the polar vortex is going to be stronger this year there's other other factors that are coming into play that are that are pointing to it being a really cold winter now once we're in the depths of that and all other things barred I do believe that the media is going to start pushing this climate change thing again. And again, it, partially this is true. I mean, let's just be honest with ourselves for a minute. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is political and it's made up, but a lot of it's true as well. We do pollute. Um, I'm not talking about you mindful Catholics out there. I'm talking about the world in general where, you know, you're, the people that are so lazy that you know they got to drive a block to work, and then they got to drive to the fast food 
outlet to fuel their fat asses. The um, opulence of the retired baby, baby boomer, boomer community is a prime example of that. Their use of fuel is out of this world. They consume more than anybody. And um, yeah, it's partially the population's fault. The bulk of the population, these me, me, me people that just want for themselves all the time, they're consuming resources at an unprecedented rate. And that is bad, that is wrong. I've mentioned that before in another video. But now the government's turning that on us and taxing us. Maybe not directly, but through the products we buy. They're basically taxing the air you breathe. That is the next big thing, in my opinion. So watch out for this winter. Watch out for the cold. Prepare yourself for it, Catholics. My friends out there, prepare yourself for a long, cold winter. Um, and uh, I mean, just just stop and think about it for a minute. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that you know down in the states, their your colonial pipeline got hacked. No fuel for uh, however long that was, a, a week or whatever. That could happen to your natural gas. Um, just look at what happened to Texas last year with their brownouts and freezing. Be prepared. Be ready for a long cold winter. It, it doesn't take much to die in uh, minus whatever. Uh, up here in Canada we're a lot more prepared for that kind of stuff because we have to embrace the suck every year. But um, be wary of it. Uh, that I think is going to be the next huge natural kind of chastisement that we're going to get in the next coming months here. And uh, like it says in the Bible, you know, pray it doesn't happen in the middle of winter. Uh, don't turn back for your coat. <laughs> Those two things don't sound like they go together very good. But um, be ready, my friends. Catholic Northman, out.